All right, so I'm back. I went in, the guy said, yeah, you can get some video here at all. So here's the sign again. We're gonna go in and we're gonna take a look. Cornelia Depot, built by the Southern Railroad in 1914. Passengers and freight booth through the depot till service was discontinued in the, late, in the 1960s. This place got some cool stuff in it. Caboose there, it's old lanterns, little wooden train set, that's cute. Okay, 60. Got a flag here, a flag flown at the USS Arizona Memorial. Time flown December the 7th, 2006. And here we got a uh, Toluca Falls Railroad, not 1898 to 1961. Back in North Carolina, Cornell, Georgia, that shows the railroad line. Picture of a guy at the railroad switchboard. And this switchboard is actually in this museum. We'll meet it in a minute. There's a newspaper from train derailment. There's a, uh, I guess a, one of the conductor's jackets in glass case. Conductor's helmet. more stuff. Railroad bell. That's more of those lanterns. That's what it used way back when. Steam engine oil can. That thing's pretty neat. Look, look at the funnel on that thing. It's pretty wicked. Pictures in here. There's another jacket, another hat. Another little railroad set, train. That's when President Bush come through here. Got several pictures of him here. President, President George Bush, Spirit of America Whistle Stop Tour. Cornelia, Georgia, October 1992. <laughs> Picture of the Capitol. Another newspaper article of the president being here. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, I failed coming up these steps. <laughs> Ten eighty-two. There's different pictures hanging up here in the museum. It's an old, old typewriter. 
Rick Titan series. This is a book on how to how to type a record, whatever. Here's a book about trains. Oh, got some neat pictures in here. Look at that. All these books of trains, trains, trains. Look at that. Those things are so cool. And there's another one of those lanterns. Another typewriter. Uh oh, this is Morse code. And this is how they used to communicate before they had texting and Facebook. Before they had phones, really. If you want to send a message somewhere, you'd come to the station wherever they did this from. And the guy would sit here and do that number. Like I just sent a message to somebody. The guy on the other side would receive it and translate what it said. A typewriter. Here's an old phone. No headset. No phone there. Here's a 1947 Southern Railroad train bulletin. This is the train do you and departure. You arrive in Washington, Atlanta, Washington, Atlanta, Washington, Atlanta. So trains come through here from Washington to Atlanta. They had the times they were, they arrived. And of course, here's another little wooden train here on display. This is pretty cool. This is a steam engine. So here would be the coal right here, trailer, that would power the steam engine. Some other little things. Here's another little train in the display here. That's pretty neat. Another picture. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's another a conductor or suit or his hat, am train. There's a little station right there. I don't know what that is. It's like somebody's handprint. Could be some kind of bird or creature. There's another one of those lanterns. I like to have that jar. <laughs> Here's a picture of Tallulah Falls Railroad wreck at Hazel Creek near Demarest, 1927. So yeah, it was pretty much rough. See the, the trussle, the trussle gave way and the train collapsed. Nobody got hurt. There's some other pictures of trains. And Here's an old radio they used to communicate with while on the job. There's a handset telephone radio communicator. That got some pretty neat stuff in there. And of course, there's still a lot of old, old photographs. Here's the old Tallulah Gorge. Tallulah Lodge open for guests. Rates 10 to $15 per week. Rooms with baths, service perfect. Now that's cheap. That is really cheap. Another picture. I'm not sure what happened here. It looks like maybe a fire or something swept through. See the rumbles of the buildings. Another picture of trains.
more lanterns. Oh, now here it is. Here's the control center for the railroad. This thing is huge and massive. That's a railroad line, and where the train passes by, it would light up. Different locations. Cornelia. So the guy would sit here, and he could make traffic switches from one track to the other. the trains coming by right here is the old data recorder instead of being recorded to a hard drive or whatever it recorded data on this paper and they would go back and translate it if they needed to Greenville South Carolina to Salisbury North Carolina this is that control station here almost Georgia to Greenville South Carolina this is pretty cool here's another picture of the guy sitting here operating the train rail system. A lot of switches. They probably have still have similar to this, but it's probably now that they use, but it's probably more technical. It's all computerized. There's another one of those uh, data recorders. And it has each city so it, they'll know all these are South Carolina, North Carolina. That's pretty neat. Oh. Check out this world barrel. Metal wheels on it. They could actually use that on the rail. Here's old wagon with metal wheels. Check out those hand trucks. So here's the railroad line, all the way from New Orleans, Louisiana, through Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia, all the way to DC. So, there you have it. That's the inside of the look of this uh, train museum here in Cornelia. Still, the festival's going on here. Uh, 